any traffic or anything today, did you? No, I didn't. Okay, great. Okay. Let me uh, just start to ask you a couple questions and just see what you think about, you know, what we do here at BCA. Okay, um, first things first, how many years of experience or practice have you had doing, you know, with the varieties of animals, whether it be small or large? Um, I've had about three years of experience with, um, with small and large animals. Okay, great. And also, um, ever since I was little, um, I've always, like, stopped on the side of the road to pick up, you know, any hurt animal and try to nurse it back to health and set it back free. Okay, that's great. So you're not, you really enjoy your work yes. so even outside. That's awesome. Yes. Okay, um, as far as being a veterinary technician, what do you think are the three most important qualities for them to have? Um, first would have to be attention to detail. Um, the second would be good communication skills. And the third would be um, willingness to work hard. Right, so. Those are all very, very great. And then, you know, some of the most important in my life personally. Yes. Um, with that said, do you personally have any qualifications or certificates of your own? Um, yes, I do. Um, I have a degree in the um, Accredited Veterinary Technician Program. Okay, great. And also I have three years experience as an uh, associate prior to finishing school. And I am a registered vet tech in Texas. Okay, and since you are a registered vet tech, um, with your personal opinion, do you feel that they should be trained by schooling before they actually go into work? Yes, um, I do feel that they should you know, use the title and everything. And that clients, I, don't, I think that clients are misled in believing that um, the person who is caring for their pet um, has more experience in schooling and, and everything like that. And also, that um, I've seen in many situations that I feel is unfair to the patient. Okay, that's something that's important that I feel too. There's a couple of clinics that you know hire people on as a vet tech, but yet they have no schooling, no experience. It's like you know, like you said, it is very unfair to the yes. to the pet's owner. You know. Um, so I guess since you have some good you know background. What's um, a difficult situation that you've been in, like dealing with the animals, I and mean, how did you actually deal with that? Well, I did have one situation when I was working at a shelter. Um, we had a group of wild cats come in, and they were extremely hard to sedate. So instead of another employee or a doctor trying, you know, to catch them and stuff like that, um, I put a towel over the cage, and with one of the side holes, I was able to sedate them and calm them down. Therefore, none of the employees or doctors got hurt. That's really great. You never know what you're going to get from those shelters. Yes. Um, okay, this is kind of a random question, but we have to ask with our clinic starting to get real busy. Are you available to work any holidays and overtime and things like that? Um, yes, I have in the past, you know, been able to um, work as many hours as I possibly can. Um, and also, money is top priority. Oh, okay, awesome, awesome. And it seems like you really do enjoy working with animals. Yes, I love working with animals. Okay, that's you know, obviously very important. Yes. Um, okay, so back to your career. Are you interested in specializing or progressing further with this? Or? Um, absolutely, I'm very interested um, in the different areas of the position. Okay, awesome. Okay, well that's all of my questions. Do you have any further questions for me? Um, yes, I have a couple. Um, what are the vet tech specialties currently? Okay, well actually there's really only five going on right now. Okay. There's, you know, animal behavior, the emergency, the anesthesia for any surgeries that we have, dentistry even, and internal medicine. They're all very important and they're all growing, so okay. possibilities are very open. Okay, um, my second question is, um, can you recommend any prestigious specialty academics? Um, there's actually a bunch of different like academies and stuff that you can go to. Um, a lot of them don't have the full qualifications yet to be recognized as a specialty school, but they're all up and coming. What you can do is go and they have like, you know, like we're talking about the shelters, yes. um, shelters, animal hospitals, things like that. Some of them tend to deal more with certain areas. So okay. That's always a good route. And the last question is, um, when can I get back to you? Um, probably by the end of this week. We only have a couple more interviews, so like I said, we need people soon. We're starting to get busy, so you'll hear from us very soon. Okay. All right. Well, thank, thank you, you. Jessica. Have a great day.